In this video, we'll expand and simplify x minus 1 cubed, or x minus 1 to the third power. Probably the easiest way to do this is to think about x minus 1 cubed as x minus 1 times x minus 1 times x minus 1. It's the same thing, but now we can use the distributive property a little bit more easily. So let's, instead of x minus 1 cubed written this way, let's do it this way right here. So let's first take these two terms right here, and we'll use the FOIL method to expand and simplify those. Once we get that, we'll multiply x by everything we get, and then multiply negative 1 by everything we get. And that's how we'll simplify x minus 1 cubed. So we take the first terms, x times x, that's x squared, then the outside term, x times negative 1, that's just negative x, inside, negative 1 times x, again negative x, and then the last term, negative 1 times negative 1, that gives us a positive 1. So at this point, we have this right here, and now we can multiply x by everything, and then negative 1 by everything, and then we can combine terms that are similar, and we're done. We've expanded and simplified x minus 1 to the third. I like to move this out here to the front. That's just a little easier visually for me. So x times each one of these. x times x squared, that'll give us x to the third. Then we have x times negative x, that'll give us negative x to the second. We have x times negative x again, so negative x to the second. And then we have x times 1, that gives us x. Let's move this over some. Now we're going to take negative 1 and multiply it by everything. Negative 1 times x squared, that'll give us negative x squared. Negative 1 times negative x. Negative times a negative is positive, so we're just going to get x for that. Negative 1 times negative x, that's our positive x. And negative 1 times 1, that gives us negative 1. So now we just need to combine like terms, and we'll have expanded and simplified x minus 1 cubed. So x to the third, we only have one of those. Then we have negative x to the second, we have one, two, three of those. So we'll have negative 3x to the second. Then for x, we have 1, 2, 3. So add those up. That gives us 3x. And finally, we just have negative 1. So this is it. We're done. We've expanded and simplified x minus 1 to the third power, also called x minus 1 cubed. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.